Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and I think most of us can agree that not all holsters are created equal. There's some good ones, some okay ones, some bad ones, and then there's holsters that shouldn't have ever even been a concept, yet somehow they still make it to market. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at my favorite hybrid holster from a company called Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I've been using uh, Hidden Hybrid Holsters for years now, and I absolutely love them, so let's check them out. Now, I wanna start out this video by first kind of preaching to the choir. I know that a majority of you out there watching this video know plenty about holsters and you just want me to get on with the review, but there's also a good portion of people out there watching who don't know the difference between a good holster and a bad holster. These are the people that go get their first pistol. They go to Walmart to get a couple boxes of ammo and they notice that down that same aisle, they sell holsters. So they walk over there and they see, see things that say universal fit or maybe it even has their specific pistol on it and it's under 20 bucks. So they just decide to get it. I pretty much never recommend those, those holsters at all. Those holsters are typically very unsafe holsters and they are not holsters that I would ever consider using. A lot of the times they are a collapsible nylon fabric and so they do not accomplish the three essential things that a holster should do. The first essential thing that it should do is protect the trigger. If you get a cheap collapsible nylon holster, it's a very soft material. It's very easy for something like your keys or you know anything else that comes in contact with you to get inside there and activate that trigger, in which case you're gonna have a discharge and that's gonna be a whole nother mess because you are responsible for every single bullet that leaves that gun. So getting something that protects that trigger is essential, right? You also want something that has good positive retention. A lot of times you get these collapsible holsters and there's no retention at all. I mean, the, it's a universal fit, so maybe it's meant for a hundred different types of firearms that are all around the same size. And so you'll end up with something that's very loose. At the same time, once you pull it out, they could collapse and it's gonna be a hard time getting it back in. You could have issues, drag something in with the trigger and so forth. And so, I mean, overall, they're dangerous holsters. If you can, stay away from those holsters. So now let's go ahead and talk about the hidden hybrid holsters. These holsters are fantastic and they cover all the bases that I look for when I'm buying a holster. Now, if you're like me, you have boxes of holsters or you have some type of drawer somewhere that's filled with holsters. Some of them have worked out. Some of them you ended up putting in the drawer because they just weren't as comfortable as you were hoping or maybe you found something better. And that's where the hidden hybrid holsters came in for me. Uh, I got my first hidden hybrid holster, I believe two years ago, it was for my m and Shield. And it was one of this style holster. So it was like a four o'clock style holster. It's got really nice, very soft leather. Uh, it's kind of a suede feel on the back of it. It's very thick. You know that nothing's going to get in there. Nothing's gonna get into that trigger. So it's got a really nice, good feel to it. And they're extremely comfortable. I mean. This is absolutely top of the line leather. And then it has that Kydex shell. When you put this thing on in the four o'clock position, it just kind of disappears on you. You know, it eventually starts molding itself to your body. And so in the morning when you get up and you put this thing on, it just kind of fits perfect. You know, and the longer you wear it, the better these things actually feel. One of the nice things I like about hidden hybrid holsters is that if I take these clips off, See if you guys can see this right here. If I take the clip off, it actually has a spot where you can run a belt and run this as an outside the waistband. So for me, these kind of fit both rolls perfect. So inside the waistband, outside the waistband, good retention, extremely comfortable, and the way that they make them is fantastic. I mean, they're just a really high quality. Everything that goes into these holsters is high quality. Um, again, I've been using them for years and I trust them absolutely. So this right here is an appendix holster. Um, obviously you can see the material is a lot less than your four o'clock holster. The four o'clock is meant to be nice and comfortable and wrap around your body and you know, it carries nice and deep and so you don't have too much of the firearm actually sticking above the waistline. And so it's gonna be really easy to conceal, but for those people that like to appendix 
critics carry, they make one that's much smaller. Now it's got a nice sweat guard on it. Again, the leather is very nice. It's a great material. It's got a nice kind of suede backing and then it has that hard Kydex shell. So if you're somebody who likes to appendix carry, I mean, this thing will completely disappear. So it's a, just a really, really nice design. Um, I don't appendix carry too much. And to be honest with you, I actually like to use this holster right here for when I'm carrying at three or four o'clock. I just feel like the lack of extra material and how lightweight this thing is really serves best to carrying either appendix or if you're going to be carrying in the back or at four o'clock, whatever you want to do. I really like this holster. This one right here is kind of my favorite, or it's definitely my go-to now that I've moved to Nevada and I can conceal carry. So uh, as a matter of fact, in Nevada, when you open carry, you can actually put the firearm inside the waistband as long as uh, the grip or something noticeable of a firearm is actually sticking out like that. So uh, either way, whether I open carry or I can conceal carry, that's the way that I like to do it. I just love this little holster right here. One of the nice things that I like about these holsters, they don't Im impede on any of the features of the firearm. So it doesn't impede on any of the safeties. If you're going to be putting it in something, let's say that has a thumb safety, like my M&P shield has a thumb safety. There's holsters that I've had where you'll put the holster in and the holster will actually activate that safety or deactivate the safety, whatever you know, the case is. But you'll put it in there and it'll activate or deactivate the safety. And I've also had holsters where you would put the, uh, put the pistol in and it would activate the magazine release, which just absolutely, I'd never understood that. You know, it would activate that magazine release, and if you go to draw it out, the magazine is just gonna be kind of sitting in there like this, and then when you go to stand it up, you know, it's not gonna be in there right. So it won't be holding the magazine in the way that it's supposed to. So having something like this where it's got a really nice cutout, it doesn't impede any safeties, it doesn't impede the magazine release or anything like that. It keeps everything nice and safe, the trigger is completely protected. Uh, they are, uh, you know, a good, way to know that you are confident when you're carrying. Now, another thing I really like about hidden hybrid holsters is the ability to adjust the retention. There are some companies that have that ability and some companies that don't. The companies that don't will simply take that Kydex shell and they will rivet it completely to whatever backing material that they have. And so whatever retention you're sitting at when you first get the holster, that's all there is to it. On both this one and this one, there are two rubber stoppers and all you have to do is just simply take it, install it, and either tighten or loosen the screws right above those rubber stoppers, and you can either increase or decrease the amount of retention that you have. So having that adjustability just kind of adds a little bit. So the ability to use this as an inside the waistband holster or an outside the waistband holster, the amount of comfort that you get out of this really nice thick leather, uh, the safety, everything that you get in a hidden hybrid holster is to me just kind of top notch. It's, it's on par with the best holsters that you can get. I think they are a great company. And again, I've been using them for years. So this isn't something I'm just saying like I had it for past month or so. I've been using them for years, been carrying with them for years, and they are definitely worth checking out. So if you ever get a chance, check out Hidden Hybrid Holsters. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.